No problem that I can't see through As long as it's just me and you My crazy little bees adding some hive top feeders to my two hives. I only have two hive top feeders so I'm going to move them down every couple days to another two hives. I don't think they need that much but I just want to prepare them for the Formic Pro mite treatment that I'll be doing in a week or two. So I just want to make sure they have enough resources before I do that and the weather should be warm enough by then. I'm also going to put some screened bottom boards on these hives. just scraping off the excess comb from the top of the frames right now because it just makes it trickier when your beekeeping and everything sticks together. It also does a bit of training for them because they know if they build up there that it's going to get removed. So it's like, not training, but learn. white pollen on their legs. Oh, there's a wasp in there. Got it. They're looking pretty good. So now I'm just replacing the bottom board. So this is what my hive top feeders look like. Um, they're wooden, that's just some sugar. And then they have a little screen. So the bees crawl up here and they hold on to the outside and drink the syrup. Yeah, 
there, girls. You're gonna be stuck. And then you don't put an inner cover on this. You just leave it like that. I'll strap it closed and then likely tomorrow already, I'll move these along. They get in your hands. I get them in the palm of my hand a lot, like a bee will crawl in and then I smush it. I don't really need to go into this hive because I looked at it pretty closely. I also don't know if baby girl wants me to split it or not, so. I got stung again in the armpit. I think I might have to take Dawn's advice and I think it's because that one didn't get stuck in my strap it just stung me in the armpit so I do think it's deodorant related and I have recently switched out my deodorant so I'm gonna have to go stinky I think um, because they don't seem to like my armpits very much so I've put on two hive top feeders on baby girl and Queen Anne and I'm gonna switch them out likely tomorrow I imagine they'll go through that pretty quickly and then I'm gonna move the hive top feeders I'll put one on this hive and my other single hive and then I'll move them again and put them on those two hives make sure they're all stocked up and ready to go in the brood chambers for mite treatment. So I think we're getting there. Um, I'm just really waiting on the temperature as well and for my new splits just to establish themselves. What's happening right now with the hives is because I put the hive top feeders on, they were always using the top entrance for some reason. I, I'm not really sure why. This happened last spring too. They got in a habit of using the top entrance I think because the bottom was filled with debris and they don't use the bottom entrance so because I have the hive top feeders on they don't have a top entrance right now so 
So they're all kind of freaking out, but I think they'll get the hang of it and make their way down, I hope. But it looks like I have quite a few that are just chilling here. So I hope they make it in before bedtime. I had a cluster out here the other day, just stay the night outside. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. Also, I've been wearing pants lately because it's only around 10 degrees Celsius and it's a little chilly. It's not full bikini weather yet, but it should be soon, so I'm looking forward to that.